Good to you. All is always a pleasure coming your way. Um, indeed, always a privilege. Marriage is extremely important, and because of the importance, we can't but keep talking about germane matters. You know, um, divorce is on the increase, and it is our duty as a people that you know have been thought in a way to talk about this. And the purpose of this talk is so that we may help someone going through some of these challenges in their own marriages. And again, we can do our best as an individual to curb divorce, to reduce pressure, and to counsel ourselves rightly um, in marriage. We can, marriage is meant for enjoyment, not for perseverance. So, and that is why we are taking it upon ourselves to keep hammering on the subject matter of parenting, marriages, and family altogether. So I welcome you all to Family Arcade today. And guesting is a very great friend of mine, um, Mrs. Debbie or Denny. Mrs. Debbie Odeni is married to, of course, Mr. Akitayo Odeni, a very blessed man. And she's blessed with three amazing boys and some divine form. And, you know, the boys are doing so well to very healthy family. She has a master's in human resources management from the University of Liverpool. And then she's the director of the Boma Cakes and Confectionery. Please feel welcome, Mrs. Debbie or Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hello, everybody. Hello. You're welcome. <sighs> so how do you hope, Mrs. Debbie? Our discussion today is about handling marital pressures. You can call it handling marital challenges. We are all saying the same thing, Mar handling marital issues. So can there be a marriage without marital challenges? It's like, it's like saying, can there be somebody that doesn't have challenge? Okay. <laughs> can you be in this life without any challenge? It's not possible. Hmm. It's, not pos it's not possible. How much more? when you combine two people from different backgrounds with different value system, there will, always, there will always be challenges. I'm not saying problem, but challenges. Absolutely. There are, there are marital problems, but there will always be challenges. Challenges in the sense that you have the, you, you could overcome. You could overcome as long as you're willing. The willingness is the key to overcome. So every marriage, whether it's new, whether it's old, whether it's been 20 years, whether it's 50 years, whether it's even one month or one day, has challenge and they have challenges. Profound, profound, profound. I, I, I like that, that illustration that can be a man, a woman, a human being without challenges or without a challenge. Uh, can there be that that answers it? Thank you for that. And then can you please being married for 13 years, according to what you told us, you know, few in some in one of our programs. Now being married for 13 years, and you know, having married people as friends, mm -hmm. living with having married people as neighbors, you know, as members in your place of worship, can you kindly help us outline some of these challenges that people are facing in their marriages? Yeah, can you help us outline them? There are issues that people are going through. Can you just help us highlight a few of these they based love. on the interaction with people? I based on my interaction from this small life, this mm. small marriage life that I have gathered. <laughs> there are a lot, so a lot of 
communication issues, talk of um, children as in like having to, having children. Some people, some people don't know that when you don't have a child, it could be a challenge, especially when you don't understand. You know, for example, as believers, as Christians, we say, oh God, you know, okay, I, let me just give an example. I, I, had a, I, had, I have a friend, we got married the same year, and she already believed that she got married like this. Mm. The next day, we're pregnant. Then she already planned that before she hit 30, or whatever she has, she she's done with her children and everything. But you know, when they got married, there's nothing wrong with her, there's nothing wrong with her husband, there's nothing wrong with them. But for first, second, third, how many years down the line, they didn't have any child. So it was 2014. Yeah. That was the first time that she had a child. That was the first, that was the first baby she had. But it, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. So those are one of the challenges that uh, there are financial issues too. I have a very close friend of mine. Is when they say somebody is hardworking, he is hardworking, but he has financial issues. So financial issues are there, communication issue, in love, it's another issue. Another issue we have in, in may we not have, may we not have wrong families, we will not have bad in-laws. In-laws can be a big, no, I won't say that a big problem, especially when you don't understand each other. So in-laws are there. Um, individual can be a problem to themselves because you have you have not taken the time to understand each other. And I tell you, it's not easy to understand somebody because somebody that is already maybe got married was 30 years. You were not there when they gave birth to the guy. You were not there when they gave birth to the lady. Maybe she was 25 when she got married. The first 25 years of her life, she had learned a particular way of living. So if, if you don't understand the fact that it is time for you guys to understand each other and move, that's another thing. People have the issue, they have the problem of not being willing to move. Very good example is toothpaste. It's a very common example. Oh, I press my toothpaste from the down. The other guy presses his toothpaste from the middle. You are most able to accept each other, but some people are not willing to accept. And even when you don't, and even if you feel okay, this thing, okay, this is what we have learned over time. It is time for us to change so that we could form our own home. I'll give an example of myself. In my in my husband's family, they make a bag on the fire. As a like, okay. oh, man, so the part of my story was like, what was it? I can't even need it to start with. So, but he was like, okay, if you don't like it, you can make your hair bag the way you used to make them. Mm. And make my own about normal as not to me, normal way of making a bar is boil water, put it inside mm. when it's brought, put it inside the bowl, put your <coughs> garden inside, and oh, you so make yeah. so my mother in law cannot tell her, she doesn't really like that way. She believes that you have to cook it as it's because of the starch and every other thing. So those are the things that we have to learn when, when we had our home. We say in our own room, we don't make our own ember on the fire, but not because of me. But my husband was just feeling that, okay, what is it? He has, he has learned, he had seen Eba on the fire over time. He too wants to see Eba on the, as he making Eba from the, from the, from the, is it from the scratch, I'll call it now. Just another way of making Eba. So it, it's as, as simple, as funny as that could be, it could be a problem in the house. Whereby they're like, you know, 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 unnecessary arguments start coming up. So those are literally such a way your value system is also another way, another challenge that could also, that, that it could also be another um, issue that could turn to a challenge. If somebody believes that smoking is okay, and you, as the other party, believe that, no, it is not okay. If you have not ironed it before you get married, it could be a problem. So there are so many things. There are so many, but I, I don't know how to categorize them. There are so many things, even spiritually. Even your, your, your um, you like call it religion too, is another thing. I won't say religion, but your, I would say is, is, is your belief system. Because we can have two Christians in the home and they don't believe in the same thing. Yes, we are both Christians, but we don't believe in the same thing. It will be an issue. It will be an issue. I'll give an example. Maybe the man doesn't believe in tithing, and you, as the woman, you believe in tithing. There will be an issue. Mm -hmm. There will be an issue. There is no way. Maybe as you, as a lady, you believe that okay, I should be, you should be speaking in tongues. 
And the man also that why are you wasting your time speaking? You can just open your mouth and pray to God. What is there? Mm. It's going to be an issue. So until you iron all those things, and that is why it is important that before you get married, a lot of people these days they don't do counseling anymore before they get married. They just feel I like the guy, they do me gives gives, you know, before you know it, you get married. And the necessity that you should know, that you should learn, instead of doing touch touch, that you should learn, mm. you won't learn that one. And so when you get married, you start having problems. So those are the things. There are a lot of challenges. I don't know how to put them. Absolutely. A lot, a lot, Absolutely. a lot, a lot. Even Absolutely. training up your child. Training up your child too can be another challenge. But if you believe that this is the way I should train my child, if the mm. man believes that no, you should train this other way. So it's going to be a challenge. If you don't know how to come together and say, no, let us speak in one voice. One mm. voice to train up a child. One voice in terms of our finances. One voice concerning so many things. It's going to be a problem. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. That's <laughs> profound. And again, from that, now that we know that there can't be a marriage without some pressures here and there, or you call it challenges, but don't let us call it problem because that's a very, very big work. So and we call it challenges because we can actually handle those things. We can manage those things. Mm -hmm. So um, now that we've established the fact that there can't be marriages without those issues, and then you have helped us to outline some of these issues that people deal with. It could, you, you cited a very fantastic example of um, toothpaste. Mm -hmm. um, it can even be, in fact, Someone may have, you know, pre-programmed himself or herself before getting into marriage. That when I get married, I am going to be using the same sponge with my spouse. <laughs> the same sponge. I'm sorry, I, I can't. I I can't. So now I can't imagine going into marriage with that kind of person. There is going to be, you know, few things there that please just use your sponge. Let me use my sponge. So <laughs> as as as. As trivial as that may yeah. sound, it can cause a very big issue. Mm -hmm. So thank you for helping us outline that and using yourself as a classic example. One of the things we do here is we take our time to go for real people, people that we not say this online and do something else behind. So that is why we are kind of getting stuck with you because you don't just mm -hmm. answer our questions, you always you know, point to yourself that, well, this is how, not that you are justifying yourself that, no, this is no, but you are citing it to us that this actually happened in a family and the kind of man that God has given you understood that part and felt, oh, we can undo this, we can manage this. So now the next question is, now that you have outlined a few of these challenges, what is the place of compromise in marriage. Um, yes, I hope you get that question. Yes, I, I do. Compromise, please go ahead. The first thing is, um, as I said, you know, you are coming from a different background. I'm, okay, for example, I'm not Yoruba, even though, yes, all my life mm -hmm. is I still have a Yoruba person, as that you know, I'm fully integrated, but the truth is I'm not Yoruba. So there are still some things that happen in my life that shows that I am not from the West. So I'm not from the Yoruba um, tribe. My yeah. husband is Yoruba. So, and we've come to understand that, see, there's some things that I would do. They cannot blame me because I'm not from there. Even though I've learned over time, for example, greeting. In our own time, in our own, in our, in our own tribe, we don't kneel down. As in like, you're too near, not, you don't kneel wow. down to, to, mm -hmm. to greet. But mm -hmm. I, I was born in the state. I was born, in fact, in Ijebode for that matter. I was born, and it's, it's not Ijebode, Ijebode, where you see all those mama there. When you see them, you better kneel down with your two knees and greet your mm -hmm. help. <laughs> <laughs> then, <laughs> then, I'm girl, then I'm married I'm married to not just a Yoruba family, a royal family, because mm. they are, they are they, the royal family. She, my my mm. mother is the princess of the mm. Jebu 
both um, king. Mm. So wow. I've come to understand that see, it's royalty. Apart from royalty, I'd learned over time that see, this is the, you, this is where, this is how they behave. This is how you should greet them. This is how you behave when you're around them. You know, so I have to move away from our own, our own way of, of doing things to their own way of doing things. And the thing is that you must be willing. It's not if you do it under compulsion, it will show that mm -hmm. you are not being genuine. So you must be willing. I was willing, no, my one thing, I was willing, one, to accept my in-laws as my parents. First mm -hmm. thing, I accepted them as my own father and my mother. My dad, my dad is late. I accept my, my father-in-law as my own father. And whenever he is, he knows. I call, I call him my sugar daddy. He calls me mm. my sugar baby. So that relationship, had, because of, because I was willing to move, and they were willing to accept me. So mm. that's another compromise. I don't. I will not get stuck up and say, you oh, know, in our own tribe, but we don't do things like that. So please, mm. you will not enjoy your marriage. Mm. You will not. You will not. So and there are other things that okay, but um, there are issues like there are many things. Giving of names in our own tribe, we just give maybe two names. Uh, but you know, like, but let me hear your mama. Mention names. I've been like, when we had our first child, because I, I, we, we can, we, we can rename the many around Lua. And that was our whole name. My mm -hmm. mother in law came with Lua Jomiloju. My father in law, we forgot the name that he gave me. Everybody just started giving me. I'm like, what is plenty name? Why? I'm not sure. Plenty name. I'm like, at the end of the day, it's only two names that this guy, even these people, when they grow up, say it's only one name that the people say they are. Oh, so Since my friend Palumina, it's only Palumina, everybody is calling me. Yeah. With all the plenty, plenty names. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So those are the things. I did not know. No. And we, 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 we initially, I was like, oh, okay, it's also your name. Don't bother Shakiri me. You know, mm. those are the things that came up. Initially, it was, it was a little struggle for me because I felt, mm. ah, well, let me let me be bearing the Shakiri name too, you know, but that's to make some compromise. What, what is more? Do you want to hold on to that one or you want to be happy? So mm. I made that compromise that, okay, his name will be in Eralua, which we have given mm. him. I'm from the, from the Odeni family. is the name that they gave him, Olua Jomiloju. His Shakiri name is Orishabu Bemi. But today, mm. everybody is, is in Eralua. When he mm. goes on, his mother is only my mother in law, but Olua Jomiloju. But initially yeah. it was an issue, but later on I just said, okay, when she sees him, I like, should call him Lua Jomiloju. She yeah. but some people think don't know that. No, he's not Olua Jomiloju. His name is Enyara Lua, and that's the yeah. name I want to be called. You will not be happy. You will yeah. not be happy. And that's, you will not be happy. So there are so many things, food-wise, the kind of food we eat in our own home, is different from the kind of food, most of even though me personally, I like the other So many, many things that you should compromise then, we talk about even living together. Hey, sister. Mm -hmm. oh, in fact, ah, that one is another, another. And because we just got married, some things are, for example, in our family, in my own family, we speak pidgin English. As okay. in, like it's like water in our world. In our, <laughs> it's, it's, it's two languages in our family: English, wow. pidgin English, and sometimes Yoruba. So when I got married, my mother was like. First thing in our own house, we don't speak between English. <laughs> in Akita, your ordinary family, no pidgin English. You please, you can imagine how we feel. Me, that I've not said two words, it's pidgin English like this. So it was, <laughs> it was like, okay, so I'm going to do it because he was after he saw what he, he, he had a plan, he didn't want. Mm -hmm. Our children to grow up speaking pidgin English like that. They can learn mm. it later on, but yeah. not as children. You know, it's going to, yeah. it's, it's going to, it's going to help them in terms yeah. of learning how to speak English well and all. Yeah. So even the Yoruba, they, they can't speak Yoruba very well. So, mm. so it was not like first thing. If you get home, when you see your brother and your sisters and everybody and your friends speak pidgin English, but <laughs> as you enter the house, you're pidgin English as mm. end. <laughs> So it was a challenge, but later on, we got well, another know. compromise right there, right? Uh, yes, I'm telling you. For me, mm -hmm. personally, it was a big compromise because awesome. you know something you are used to every time. It's so bad mm -hmm. that when my mom is around, I can be talking to my mother in law like, ah, mommy, she's a kid, 
as I switched to my mom. <laughs> 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 it's terrible. I'm telling you, it's really terrible. As in, they were just looking at us. My father in law, when I was like, okay, so what does happen right now? I'm talking to the other daddy, she's like, I'm talking to the other Her mom is like, and the next thing, hey, mommy, you know what's going on? And they just go like, okay, 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 what's happening right now? Okay, what's happening? So, I, well, I was like, it was fun. Let me tell you, it is fun. It's fun. Yeah. Now we can talk about it. We can mm. make jokes with it. There are a lot of things that you will come. There is no, mm. if you really love your husband, if you really love your wife, if you mm. want that marriage to work, mm. you must be willing to make some little compromises here. And awesome. There. Wow. Yay. This is loaded. <laughs> I am very, very, very excited. I am very, very excited. Yeah. Wow. Thank you very much. Um, mm for, you know, telling us about the place of compromise in marriage and not just for the woman, the man too must be willing to mm. compromise on some issues because marriage is about two people, not about mm. one person. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.